Well, it's still all swampy snow, <sighs> mud, and winter. I'm so glad we live near an airport. <sighs> and I'm so glad that LA doesn't look like this in the winter. Yeah. You just, so let's go back scared. to LA. Let's do it. Let's head on back. I'm ready for some palm trees and <laughs> oh, maybe a glass of wine. I just moved back here. Again. They've legalized other things there too, but I'll, I'll let other people play with that. We'll just have a glass of wine and hang out. Yeah. And we're going to go to a really neat railroad museum this week, the Travel Town at Griffith Park, mm. right next door to the LA Life steamers. Griffith Park is ponderous. Oh, I love it. It's just, it goes everywhere. It you, you, if you tried to walk from one end of it to the other, you'd end up like those people in the old movies that are, oh, you just couldn't do it. it it's miles and miles and miles of, of wilderness and park. And yes. Stuff. But it's really neat, and uh, they've got a pretty darn nice railroad museum as yeah, part of the park. They do. The Travel Town at Griffith Park. So <laughs> check this out. In the late 1940s, a guy by the name of Charlie Atkins, a park employee here in Griffith Park, got the idea of displaying an old steam engine as part of the train ride in Griffith Park called the Griffith Park and Southern an 18 and a half inch gauge uh, kids ride down near the south entrance to the park. Well, he was actually able to get a hold of two little saddle tank engines from the Port of Los Angeles and bring those here. In 1952, they were developing this part of the park and Charlie got the idea to move those two locomotives up here where there was room to add a lot more to the collection. It never ceases to amaze me just how big these locomotives are, but I'm so glad to see that they're being preserved. You know, and by railroad standards, these things are actually really small, but you get up next to them and holy crap, they're just massive. They're a little bit on the beat up side, but one has to keep in mind that when Charlie found these things, he was pulling them out of scrap yards. Oh no. <laughs> they were all gonna be cut up and turned into uh, Chevys and stuff. Oh my gosh. But he was able to talk uh, the railroads that owned them into donating them instead. So now they're here and they're preserved. Oh look, it's one of my favorites, a Shea. Aren't those things neat? Oh. Geared engines. Yes. <laughs> so instead of having side rods, the, the steam engine rotates uh, gears, which are connected to the wheels, and that's what drives the engine forward. That way they can gear the whole thing down. Here's another geared engine. This is a Climax. Right. And uh, a Climax is built very much like an automobile or a truck. It has a V configuration engine here, and that feeds down to this crankshaft. The crankshaft running a drive line, which extends the entire length of the locomotive U joint. See it very <laughs> from the standard U joint to uh, differentials, which feed the power out to the actual wheel trucks driving the engine forward. But here again, just like a Shea, it means that it can have a lot of power because it's geared down. Now here we have some little industrial saddle tank engines. This one's a construction engine, but these are the two engines that Charlie originally got and brought here to the park uh, down at the south entrance, and now they're up here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Those were the original two engines that were part of this collection. But now the collection is substantially bigger, and they've even built this lovely new building here to keep some of the better equipment out of the weather. Oh look, we have a caboose here. I know you love cabooses. <laughs> yes, in any shape or re a restoration project, it doesn't matter. I love it caboose. Doesn't matter. Well, they're just <laughs> neat. Ooh, speaking of neat, this is SP Narrow Gauge. Very, very nice. And uh, an old live steam engine here. Also here in Travel Town is the East Valley Lines N-Scale Railroad Club. They have one of the world's largest N-Scale layouts inside the building here. The layout is 2,000 square feet and they have several thousand feet of track. One of the things I love about N-Scale is how much you can fit into a small amount of space. This is why I love N-Scale, is for that very reason. Look at how much track they can lay down in an area like this. Well, especially when you've got 2,000 square feet. I mean, they just have a massive, massive railroad because of the scale. Exactly. 
The collection's also gone from being just a collection to an actual museum. And look, they're doing a lot of preservation work, repainting these cars and so on. That's going to look really neat. Well, this is cool. This is Pacific Electric, the railroad that used to serve all of Southern California. And they've got a smattering of Pacific Electric, the red cars they used to call them. <laughs> And this is sort of what's left of an old Los Angeles trolley car. It got turned into a movie prop. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> now, this is my favorite locomotive here in the entire collection. You know, my fascination with really early engines. And this one is very, very early. 1864 started on the first version of the Western Pacific which was then absorbed into the Central Pacific. The Western Pacific ran down Niles Canyon, which is now a really neat railroad museum, and was absorbed into the transcontinental system after 1869. Now, because the steam trains had been moved up here from the train ride, uh, in 1975, they got the idea of adding another train ride. <laughs> so that they'd have a train ride here in Travel Town, along with the one down at the south entrance to the park. And they were able to acquire this. This originally belonged to Gene Autry. Oh my goodness. The singing cowboy. So Gene Autry was one of the famous singing cowboys from the radio era, uh, along with Roy Rogers and the Sons of the Pioneers. Oh, cool. <laughs> and he had a radio show called Melody Ranch. Oh, nice. Do you remember the theme was, back in the saddle again? That was, that was Gene Autry. Yes. Well, as it happens, he loved trains, and he started collecting them and bringing them to his ranch. And here we see Denver and Rio Grande Western 463, the K-27 that we rode on at the Cumbers and Toltec. Isn't that Railroad. cool? Of course, that's one of the favorite engines now over at the Cumbers and Toltec. We sure had a lot of fun. We did. <laughs> <laughs> screwing around on that. Now, as it happens, the Melody Ranch was an actual real-life place, and Gene Autry had started collecting locomotives and bringing them to the Melody Ranch. It uh, wasn't, however, a ranch. <laughs> it was a movie set. A movie set. Look at that. Yeah, he built a movie ranch between Santa Monica and uh, Malibu. Oh, gee. <laughs> very, very valuable dirt now, so all of this got torn down. But this was sort of an amusement park slash movie town that he built up in the hills there. And he brought in a lot of locomotives because he loves locomotives. And he acquired a 16-inch gauge amusement park train and set that up here as well. Oh, look, it's painted like an SP Daylight. Yes, an SP Daylight Pacific. And they operated that as an amusement park ride there at the Melody Ranch. Well, surprisingly, I have some history with this thing. Oh, you do? <laughs> well, the motel that we're staying at in uh -huh. Burbank. Right. I was staying in that motel in 1975, and I look out the bathroom window, and this locomotive is parked in the alley. Oh, my. So about 12 seconds later, I was down in the alley, screaming my head off, going, Holy cow, look what, I, oh my, can I have it? Can I take it home? Well, it was a Railroad Supply Corporation, <laughs> and they were rebuilding it so it could come to Travel Town. Nice! As it happens, Railroad Supply Corporation was one of the big providers of the equipment to the LA Live Steamers Club. At any rate, this locomotive is now on the Whiskey River Railroad in Wisconsin, which is why now they have this kind of fake steam engine. Oh run by uh, an internal combustion engine. It looks nice, Yes. but it, it isn't actual steam. But it's still really, really fun to ride. And the cars here are still the Melody Ranch cars that were originally pulled by that neat little Pacific. Now coming up on our left over here is one of the trolley stops from back when this was a trolley line. It only ran for about five years using that beat up little trolley we saw earlier <laughs> that had been a movie prop. 
Anyway, in 1975, they discontinued the trolley and laid this 16-inch gauge track and started operating the Melody Ranch Special instead. This is a really great way to see the museum, along with a really great ride. Yeah, it's always fun to go for a train ride. <laughs> oh, it sure is. Especially at a train museum. Absolutely. They still have the other train ride, too, down at the south entrance, the 18 and a half inch gauge, the Griffith Park and Southern, and uh, both trains are operated by the same group of people here. They've really been spending a lot of money here at Travel Town, and quite recently they built this new structure over here and they've really started making the place into a really, really first-rate railroad museum. One of the best that we've been to. Oh, no kidding. One of the things about Los Angeles is it's always amazing to see what can be done when you get some 30 million like-minded individuals together and uh, they decide to build something really nice. Now check out over here, they've been laying a lot of standard gauge track. Oh, they have. They've got an actual functional diesel locomotive, they call it the Charlie Atkins, <laughs> and they're expanding up into all this land they have over here, but they're putting in an actual standard gauge railroad. How oh, cool is wow. that? Well, we had a ball here. Oh, no kidding. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's right next door to the LA Live Steamers. And as it happens, it's a great little railroad museum. How cool is that? That's really cool. Well, there it is. That's the uh, Travel Town Railroad Museum at Griffith Park. Oh my gosh. It's really neat. It's been there for a long, long time. And Griffith Park is just really cool because it wanders all oh, over. Oh, it it's does. gigantic. It's a yeah. whole mountain range. Oh, you no kidding. Right yeah. it, the planetarium and mm. everything is up in there. And right. the zoo and just all yes. kinds of neat things. All just kinds of stuff. neat things. Mm -hmm. And we were already there with the other show That's riding right. the carousel that mm -hmm. Walt Disney was uh, letting his girls ride on when he got the idea for Disney. Isn't that fun? So that's that's really just cool awesome. Too. Yeah. Anyway, Travel Town at Griffith Park. <laughs> it's really cool. Something about Travel Town, uh, the, one of the founders of Travel Town, or the big wigs, I can't remember, uh, also built the, uh, the, the railroad up of big trees, Roaring Camp. Roaring Camp. Oh. That was like his personal three foot gauge hobby railroad oh, up at Roaring hobby. Camp. But, he was one of the principals at the travel town. Oh. So that's just kind of neat, kind of closure there, kind right. of something fun. Hmm. But what a neat collection of all kinds of railroad artifacts no and fun stuff there. Wow. Well, anyway, if you uh, haven't been over to the channel, please pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, do subscribe. That way you can click on your little notification bell and be notified whenever we upload some silly foolishness like which going to Griffith often. Park. Which is yeah. Twice a week, generally speaking. That's right, they're starting more. to know us at the airport. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, they know us at the airport. They just wave us through. Bye. They just wave us through, yeah. <laughs> security? We don't need those stinking security. Anyway. Uh, yeah. um, so anyway, if you if you pop over the channel, there's you can binge watch. There's 360, 70, I forget. There's oh, a, a lot. lot. There's a lot of video over we'll there. Go back and recap them to, someday. Yeah, I don't. I, we we'll make them so track. fast that yeah. whatever the number is, it changes before you By blink the next your eyes or something. Isn't so, that weird? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> while you're over there, do subscribe and click on your little notification bell. Uh -huh. And the easy way to subscribe and be notified and everything is to click on the blue button. Are you mm -hmm. ready? Zoink! Blue button right there says subscribe. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday with a Collecting Attic show. <laughs> collecting in the Attic show. Something like that. See you then. We'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>